What is up guys? Welcome to another t-shirt design episode four. So stoked to bring you guys another episode. A lot of you seem to be really enjoying this series that I have going on. Uh, before we get into today's video, I do want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor over at Oxygen Bank. Now, if you guys haven't heard of Oxygen Bank, Oxygen Bank is a bank for freelancers like me and you, creative people, like-minded thinkers. A lot of banks have fees and I don't like that. And I'm sure a lot of you don't like that as well. So um, Oxygen has no monthly fees, no overdraft fees, no minimum balance fees, no account bank transfer fees. It goes even further with Oxygen Bank though, because you're probably asking yourself, why is it so different? Now, Oxygen Bank actually works directly with freelancers to help you get credit. Now that's really important because a lot of freelance people have a hard time getting credit. So when you get the card in the mail, it looks something like this. Let me see if I can get this to focus. Um, really, really cool blue foil design. They definitely put a lot of attention to detail. And when you go to open it up, you actually do uh, see this foil with some space art. Really, really cool. And on the front of the card, you do see an astronaut with, again, that blue foil. So really, really nice. I'm not going to show you guys the back of the card because it has all my actual information on there. Really uh, cool experience, um, especially if you're looking for a new bank and you guys want everything in one package, Oxygen is the way to go. Again, check them out in the description below. Let's get back to the tutorial now. Today's tutorial is going to be an Illustrator. I have the latest version, Adobe Illustrator 2020. If you haven't updated your version, update it so you guys can follow along with me. Um, you know, sometimes they update certain things and it's good to just keep your program updated so you have all of the latest features and all that good stuff. So we're gonna get started now. So I have this vector pack that I found online. I'm just gonna copy this camera over right here. You can find any vector online that you want, guys, and some of them are free, some of them you have to pay for, but um, it's good to be resourceful. So use Google to your advantage. Um, anyway, I did find this one that I liked, so we're gonna use this camera. And then the saying that I wanted to um, add to this design is all I need is my camera. I just wanted to keep it really simple today. And I did find two fonts on dafont.com that I think work really well. So this one is called Sunrise International Demo, and this one's called um, On Agree Regular, however you say that. So the one I'm thinking is going to work for my specific case is this bottom one right here. I'm automatically thinking all I need is my, should be above it, and then camera could be really big in the center. So what we're gonna do is go to our ellipse and just drag out an ellipse just like this. We don't want it to be too big. We don't want it to be too small, right? We want to find a really good middle ground. And then I want to go to my T tool. I can just hit T on my keyboard and I want to go to type on a path. And obviously what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to select the edge of our circle and start typing around it, which is amazing. So now that I'm on my type on a path tool, I just want to select somewhere around the path and then I want to start typing all I need is my. So we're just going to do all I need is my. And I want to select the larger font size. So we're going to go probably 50 on this one. We're gonna make it really big and I wanna make sure that is centered and then we're gonna change the positioning of these anchor points to the top. And this camera right here, we are changing the color of it so I'm not too concerned with it right now. We're looking pretty good so all I need is my and then at the bottom we're gonna type out camera and again our font size is 50. So I did change the font size of the bottom one which a lot of people say don't do but you can break the rules with design. It's honestly up to you what you wanna do with it. What I wanna do is try to add a share so I'm gonna to go to transform share. All I did was right clicked to do that and then I'm gonna to go to vertical make sure previews checked and see if I can kind of give it some flavor some character something that looks a little funky I don't like it maybe I can go to effect warp and then add a flag warp instead that looks kind of cool I, I do like how it hugs the bottom right there and then maybe this font can go above just like that. So we have one going under and one going above. This is looking really cool actually. I dig this a lot and we have some color going on here. I think the black is too black so I'm going to make it a faded black because I think it's going to complement that blue a little bit better. I'm going to try to duplicate this font, send it to the back and make it this blue color as well. So see if we can incorporate the blue in there somewhere. See I don't know. I like simple stuff like this. To me this looks really cool. Um, and then I want to do the same thing for the bottom. Oops. Clicked on the wrong tab. I'm gonna do the same thing for the bottom here. Send that to the back. Almost like it has this shadow going on, right? Let's go to Google and find 3D colors. 3D color palette. So I'm going to Google and finding a 3D color palette. 3D is really just cyan and red. That's literally all it is. So I found that, I'm gonna utilize that on my design. Whoa, that's huge. Let's resize that. So now I have a little color palette here. And what I wanna do 
is make my text just the black text that red color and I could probably add this to my swatches too it's gonna make things a lot easier I don't know how they designed this but it's so weird they like added a background color to make the strokes the red color it's like they added a layer mask or something like that I don't like the way it, it was designed anyway so now we have the black camera we could duplicate it and then make one red send that to the back and then make one blue and send that to the back dude this is sick oh man okay let me let me bring this red in a little bit it's a little too out I want it to be more subtle a little more subtle so I'm taking the bottom text I'm not making any sense literally um, I'm taking the bottom text line which is, which is camera and I have the cyan and the red let's just say blue and red and I'm sending it to the front just like that so we have a little depth going on here we need some depth and then sending all that to the back too. That's it for t-shirt design episode four. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a comment below and subscribe if you aren't already. And also turn on notifications so you guys don't miss another badass tutorial. If you guys love this video, you guys can watch my last one right here as well. Um, definitely recommend watching episode three if you haven't already. But that's it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Keep creating, keep being awesome. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.